pretend What does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Oh, can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia Darling, I'm just so fed up with these expectations Hey guys, back with another video. So today we're gonna talk about being a mommy and how to get ready as a mommy. Cause it's really hard to get ready as you know, whether if you have one, two, three, four, five, as many kids as you have, it's really, really difficult and it's really, really challenging. So you wanna find tips and tricks on how to do your hair and makeup. Stay tuned then and keep on watching. Well, the first thing I like to do is just find something that works for you that's really quick. Um, my two, go-to's that I like to do is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin um, Powder. This actually has a lot of coverage, um, really quick and easy to use. It has a little puff in here so if you want to touch up during the day. Um, it's long wear. It's supposed to be 12 hours. For me it lasts 10. This is one of them. And the other one is the um, NARS um, Velvet Matte Foundation. I'm oily so this is the two that I go with. If you're not you can always use a full coverage powder that um, isn't for oily skin and then you can also do just um, a cream um, foundation similar to this that is for um, for non oily skin so I'll go ahead and actually put in the description or I'll put a little picture so I can show you um, what something would be similar to this just for your skin type. So the first thing I'm going to do is just prime my face. Um, if I know I'm going to be out and it's going to be really hot then I'm using this one. If I know that it's just going to be a normal day not too hot I usually put just a little bit of this in my t-zone and then I use this um, on the outer part of my face. So here we go. I just take three little drops, one, two, three. Rub it in my skin as so. And that's the first step. And then the second step, I think today I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my NARS stick. Now this stick is pretty cool. It's the va um, Velvet Matte Foundation Stick. It has foundation on this side and it has like um, the little applicator on this side. I'm not too keen on using that because I'm more on the um, hygiene side and I feel like everything just sticks in there and how are you going to clean it, right? So you're just going to go like this super quickly. All over the face. You can use a beauty blender or you can use um, a brush to do this. Super simple, super fast. You're just going to make sure that you blend everything out. I'm looking down because my mirror is actually down here. Now it's up to you. You can highlight if you want to. You don't have to if you're in a hurry. And you can also set it if you want to set it. Um, but if you don't want to, that's fine too. So let me go ahead and just make sure that this is all blended out. You can also use concealer in the areas that need like more of a spot treatment if you want. Now to me this makeup usually looks a little bit more natural looking which is what we want when we're going out just for simple things with our kids. So I'm not going to highlight with anything. I'm really not even going to spot treat either but you can go ahead and set it if you want to. I'm going to set it with the Laura Mercier powder. Um, there's some other ones that are really good too. NARS has um, has a good one and then another company too that's inexpensive as well um, is NYX and even um, Wet n Wild has a really good one too so I just really do this super quick just like that and then we're gonna go ahead 
and contour just a little bit because that's just me. You don't have to contour if you don't want to. I feel like this gives me a little bit more dimension so that my face doesn't look as flat. So I usually take it right here to the temples and just kind of pull out a little bit and then just go into like a little swirly motion after I created this sharp line. And I don't put any blush, I just do this. And my guideline is from here to the center of my eye ball. And then I'm going to bring it up into the temples. Just like this. And then on the jawline. So kind of like a 3 or an E. Just like that. Now if you're a blush person, do blush. That helps too to give dimension to the face. Um, I love highlight, especially in the summertime. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight. I'm going to use this last color right here in my Hyper Real Glow palette. By the way, most of these things are really easy to travel. Like this is easy to travel with. This is easy to travel with. I usually try to pick those items when I go traveling with the kids and stuff. So I'll just put a little bit here. A little bit here, 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 there, and look right there. I always like looking bronzy and glowy for the summertime, just like that. So you can leave it like this if you have like pretty good brows, but I have to fill in my brows. My husband doesn't like when I go places without filling my brows. Now here's um, a cute little story way back when, probably like two years ago, I started like shaving this part of my eyebrow because I wanted to be able to like manipulate the shape of the end of my eyebrow if I wanted it more straight and more curved. Um, I'd always do that. But if I went out in public and I didn't have makeup, it looked really, really odd. And so AJ would not let me go anywhere without doing my brows because he was really embarrassed. But as a makeup artist, you totally understand that we always want to um, work with... Um, with art, right? So if I just cut this off, I could just do whatever I wanted. But um, he didn't really like that trend. So I tried to grow out my brows and this is how my brows look. So um, I'm probably going to get them microbladed at some point. So again, I'm going to use my precisely my brow pencil by Benefit. I love this pencil. Um, I think, was it uh, NYX? NYX just came out with something similar, but it has a little fluff brush, which I really want to try. And I think um, that's, that's a cool one to use too. I'll probably have to pick that up so I can show you guys. But here we go. Now remember guys, I'm talking a lot, so um, it's gonna take a little bit longer for me to get ready with you guys, but this is pretty much what I do when I have things to do with the kids. Or at least I wanna look decent. It sounds a little awkward, but um, yeah, I usually just fill in my brows. I kind of, um, what you call like clean them up or cut them up because I want them to um, not so, look so different because my eyebrows are just weird. They're just not the same. Um, they're not even sisters, so I just have to kind of use that technique in order to make them similar. Usually they look pretty gross at first, and then I start to clean them up, and then they look amazing, so... This is probably the one part that takes me the longest is my eyebrows and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to get microblading done because it would save me so much time. Like whether if it was just like a regular makeup routine or if it was one just to like, like this one just going somewhere super fast, it would save me a lot of time. If you guys have gotten microbladed, please, please, please let me know how that's gone because I'm really interested in it. Um, I've only known a couple people that have gotten microbladed, not too many, 
Um, so I'm a little bit hesitant, but I, I seriously want to do it. It's not that I'm afraid of like the needle or anything like that, but I'm just like, I don't know. I just am afraid of trusting somebody with my face. But, um, you know, leave me a comment down below. Leave me also who did your, your, um, eyebrows as well and where they're located. So I'd really like to look at people's portfolios, you know? A great tip too is to have your brows like already waxed and already cut, like trimmed and stuff so that it doesn't take you even more longer to do your brows. So that's a tip. And now we're going to go on to the eyes. So what I like to do is just get some type of like um, shadow stick. So um, this one's just a regular like cream one by Bobbi Brown. Um, looks like this. Actually, um, the makeup artist Crispy actually sent me this. She sent me a whole box of goodies um, a while back two years ago um, when something unfortunate to me happened. So um, yeah, she was super, super sweet. Um, she messaged me and she's super amazing and this is what she sent me. So let's go ahead and use it. So it's pretty easy. You just put it all over the brows. Um, if you don't have anything that's cream color, you can always do like your concealer, the Shape Tape Tarte concealer, works pretty well. Even the color, oops, even the color Pop One does too. Um, you can use a brush, or you can even use like your Beauty Blender if you want to. Um, I feel like the Beauty Blender is probably a little quicker than a brush, but that's up to you. Um, if you have a smaller Beauty Blender, that's good too. But I'm just using my big one. And you're just going to blend it out. But yeah, you could do stuff, anything like this. Or there's even those liquid eyeshadows by Stila or by Ciate. Those are awesome as well. So you can do that. Um, you can set it with um, just your translucent powder or whatever. Um, but I'm going to keep my eyes like this. And then you can go ahead and put mascara and a lip gloss or a lipstick. Um, now the mascara that I'm going to use... Let's see, um, hmm, what should I use, guys, what should I use? I'm like a mascara whore. I have like so many mascaras. I think I'm going to use my Gorgeous Cosmetics one just because like I haven't used it in a while and a lot of people don't really know about Gorgeous Cosmetics unless you're really, like, really into makeup, um, but this is what the wand looks like. I really love it. Um, I think this is like deepest black or something, but I like it a lot. I like when my lashes are long, but I also like them when they're thick. Um, I just like full lashes. So if I know I'm going to go like out somewhere, let's say like a lunch or something and I need to do something quick, I'll definitely use this one because as you can see, it makes a really big difference, especially when I use my curler. So let's go ahead and use the curler. See you guys? Um, there's that. I'm going to go ahead and... Oh my gosh! Ugh! I did it again. Okay, well, this sometimes happens when my son's talking to me. He's like, Mommy, I want orange juice. Mommy, I want breakfast. Mommy, I want... And sometimes it'll happen. So, I'll show you what happens. If that happens. Okay. So there is that. You could do the bottom if you like to do the bottom. Put eyeliner or whatever. But if you're doing a fast routine, you kind of want to save time. I usually go back and get my beauty blender. And try to just kind of blend it out a little bit. Until you can't see it anymore. And voila, there. Super, super quick. And then we'll do like a little lip gloss or something. You could do a liquid lip if you want to. Those ones you probably have to be a little bit more precise. If you are someone who wants something really fast, just do um, just do like a regular lip gloss, which I'm looking for regular lip glosses, and I don't see them right now. Hmm. Okay, finally, I found a lip gloss. So this is one of my favorites. It's called Myth. Now... If you want it to last all day because you don't feel like touching up, you can always go in with like a Pro Longwear um, or any of like the waterproof liners from like lip liners from like NYX or Makeup Forever. Um, but you can go ahead and line your lips, and that's what I'm going to do. 
and you're gonna fill in like everything and if you want to oh my god this is so hard if you want to put some um, chapstick on first you're totally welcome to but I always feel like if your lips are too hydrated and you put something that's waterproof it's just gonna slide right off Or you could do a lip stain. Those are always nice too. So again, there's this. And then voila! There is your mommy makeup. You look put together. Um, now if you want to put color on your eyes you totally can, but I feel like if I'm going out with my kids and it's just something quick, like you really don't need to. Um, but yeah, this is the mommy makeup, and now on to the hair. Honey, I'm a perfect ten. What does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Oh, ooh. can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia. Darling, I'm just so fed up with these expectations. They keep weighing me down. My heart is begging me to get